write a C++ program to create a friend function for adding two matrices using two different classes. So in this program, we are going to create two different classes for representing matrix. And by using a friend function, we must be able to access the private data members of both the class, the first and second, and that can be used to find the addition of two matrices. First, we declare a class which is named as matrix2. Then we define the first matrix, matrix1, class matrix1. So inside the matrix one, we are using a private data member, which is named as A, which is a multi-dimensional or two-dimensional array with row number three and column number two. So we have created a private data member, which is capable of storing three by two matrix. After that, in the public section, we have written a zero argument constructor default constructor, a parameterized constructor which takes the parameter as temp which is an array that is used to store the value of an array into the private data member A. By using for loop, we store the content of TMP into our private data member A. Then we are using a display method for displaying the value of the private data member A in the form of matrix, 3 by 2 matrix. So two for loop is used to display the value of data member. So number of rows is three and number of columns is two. So we are using first outer for loop with an index variable i which range from zero to two and inner for loop with the index variable j which ranges from zero to one. and each element of the matrix A will get displayed as A of IJ. For adding two matrix, we are using a method which is named as add. So add method takes two matrix. The first one is an object of matrix one and second one is an object of matrix two. And the result will be in the form of matrix one. So a friend function has been declared inside the class matrix one, which is used to add two matrix and get the result in the form of another matrix. In order to create a second matrix class here, we are using the similar concept what we have used for creating matrix one. So we create a class matrix two and only change what we are making is the name of the data member has been changed as B. 
So inside the private section, we have declared a data member which is named as B three by two matrix. So we make changes wherever we have written the data member as A, we made change into B. In the matrix two also, we have friend function add, which takes two parameter matrix one and matrix two. Return data type is matrix one. Now the add method need to be defined outside the class with return data type is matrix one and the method name is add and it takes two parameter the object of matrix one and matrix two. Inside the add method, we have to write the logic to calculate the sum of M1 and M2 and return the result as a new matrix, which will be the object of matrix one. So in order to store the result of matrix one, we create a temporary object TM. And by using two for loop, we add the content of the first matrix and the second matrix. The first matrix, the private data member for storing the matrix value is named as A. And the second matrix M2, the private data members which is used to store the matrix value is B. So by using M1, we access the private data member A. And by using M2, we access the private data member B and store the result in temp.a because temp is an object of matrix one. In this friend function add, we are accessing the private data member A and B of the matrix class matrix one and matrix two. A is a private data member of the class matrix one and B is the private data member of the class matrix two. Since we have declared the friend function add inside the matrix one and matrix two by using the friend keyword, we will be able to access the private data member of both the class matrix one and matrix two inside the friend function add. We create an object for the matrix one as M1 by passing a two dimensional array value VL1. Similarly, we create the second matrix object M2 for matrix two by passing another set of two dimensional value VL2. So totally we now created two object M1 and M2. M1 is an object of matrix 1 and M2 is an object of matrix 2. Now to find the sum of M1 and M2, we call the method add. Add is a friend function, so it can be called directly by using the function name. The function name is add and it passes two parameters M1 and M2 and the result will get stored into another matrix which is named as result and which is an object of matrix one. By using the display method 
we display the value of each of the metrics m1 m2 and result so we call the method m1 dot display m2 dot display and result dot display execute and see the program output. 